We learned today that the White House is set to make a high-level appointment tomorrow, naming an official to help out America's military families. The name is familiar, Petraeus, but it's not General David Petraeus, his wife, Holly. As Sharon Alfonsi reports, she's going to be helping vulnerable families targeted by scam artists. Mm -hmm. Diane Trena, a mother of three, was fighting in Iraq when she learned she'd been scammed by an auto dealer who illegally sold her a car he didn't own, then left town. I have no doubt that I was targeted because I was military. Thousands of miles away, but worried about the fallout back home. Three-fourths of financial counselors say they've dealt with members of the military who've fallen victim to abusive auto lenders. It's a cause dear to the heart of Holly Petraeus. She grew up a military brat, married Petraeus just two months after he graduated from West Point, moving their home, her family, two dozen times over 36 years. But outside each base, she told our Austin, Texas affiliate she noticed the same thing. Lenders lined up. Oh yeah, right outside the gates. Mm -hmm. If you drive by a military installation, you'll often see that sort of thing right by the gates. High interest loans, bogus credit plans, and rent-to-own programs, all preying on young service members. So the general's wife started advocating for military families on consumer issues. And when the president named Elizabeth Warren to head the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, Mrs. Petraeus marched right in to see her. We did the polite, shook hands, sat down. And I mean, we've been sitting there two minutes. When she starts in on, here's what's going wrong, and here's what's going wrong, and here's what's going wrong, and I thought, wow, this woman is a ball of fire. In a recent poll, service members say they're more stressed out about their finances than even going to war. So while her husband leads forces in Afghanistan, back home, the general's wife is waging her own battle, protecting the people who protect us. Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News, New York.